But if we are going to hit our targets, we need another driver, a permanent one, and fast. But we are mid-season. It's impossible. So given the circumstances, do you think you can grant us a bit of leeway on the contract? I have the projections. If Connorsport doesn't reach fifth place in the constructors this season, the returns simply aren't worth my time. That was always the deal. And it still is. But with a little extra time, perhaps we'd stop. The deal stands. And without Devon driving, there's now little of interest for me beyond the contract. It's just business. There must be something we can do. So, legacy is obviously important to you, David. As a father, I, I totally get that. So if Devon, your son, can't drive, how about your daughter? Why don't we give the seat to Kelly? No. California will not be signed to Connorsport. Why not? Just... <laughs> just think of the commercial opportunities for the team that signs her, hmm? Forget legacy. <laughs> oh, we'd be... You'd be making history. And you'll be giving a phenomenal talent her first break into F1. It's the right thing to do. Come on, you know she deserves it. The daughter. Who took her mother's name to spite me. Nah, she'll never say yes. Why don't you leave that to me? Contract still stands, Ackerman. Fifth place, or I'm out next season. One problem at a time, eh? Hey, we need your input on this one. Yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh, look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. Welcome along, everyone, to sunny Spain, specifically to the circuit de Barcelona-Catalunya. So many great moments in Formula One history have been written at this very track over the years, including Michael Schumacher's first win for Ferrari back in 96. That win was in the rain. We might have better weather here today, but we're just as overjoyed to be at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalunya, and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone, the final corner is much faster, and at 2.9 miles and 14 turns, we await the Spanish Grand Prix. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Bottas, Jackson, Magnussen, Ocon, Holkenberg, De Vries, Stroll, Albon, and Noah Bell. And now it's time to head down to the track. Welcome to the wonderful Catalunya. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix this weekend. And whilst the season is just a few races old, it's already been one full of drama. So, Natalie Pinkham, who have you got your eye on this weekend? 
Well, in Formula One, naturally, the conversation is drawn towards those at the top of the standings, both drivers and teams. But I'm really intrigued by the midfield team of Connor Sport. Devon Butler's absence will definitely be felt. There's no doubt about that, both on and off the track. For me, the interesting thing will be how they move forward without him. Indeed, almost as many battles off the track as there are on it for Connor Sport at the moment. And Kasper Ackerman and his team certainly have their work cut out for them this weekend. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here. So let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on. job.
job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Okay, good work, great pass. Approaching the pit window and you're going to be on mediums.
finish hard on the inlap. issues with tyre wear for now, keep taking care of them. OK, stay clear of the white line on the exit, or receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. Okay, the gap behind is 0.1 seconds. Noah's in the pits. Noah is in the pits now.
OK, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Well done. Got enough fuel for three more laps. We've 
They've only got two laps of fuel left. So it's Aidan Jackson propping up Connor Sport here today, but the big news off the track is the speculation about this team and whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, a mid-season signing would get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way onto the podium now. Well, Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So, just tell me, what is it like for you today? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, that side of things, that's not really my job. I, I wish Devon well, but uh, it doesn't really matter to me who the other driver is. So, I'm out there to drive the car as best as I can. And that's all there is to it. Everything else is for Casper and the team to worry about. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? Uh, um, yeah, I know as much as everybody else, so, you know, I saw what happened, I'm obviously very worried for him, and as is everybody else, and, you know, I know he's not fit to drive for us right now, as far as I know, he's working super hard to return to the sport, and, um, yeah, I wish him well. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? It's not for me to say, but... I think it could be a real opportunity for the team to make an exciting signing. Uh, there's a lot of talent out there hungry for a shot in F1, and Connorsport could find themselves in a the perfect position to offer them one. That's great. Thank you.